with them, no problem. But do we have a deal? Mm, if you do it right. Well done, Al. Here's your commission plus a bottle of gin's worth. There'll be a bonus waiting if you get it from the works boys today. We're up for business now the heat's off. We're up. Two new playmates for you, Alan and Buxton. This one fancies herself, reckons she's a teacher. Came unstuck on her sums. Should have plenty in common. Ignore the band old twerk. I heard that, Alan. You've got a mouth like a cesspit. Hardly surprising. Spent most of your life wallowing in one. Come on. Here. Wish you ever another way. No, never. Hmm. Any I reckon we met before? No, I don't think so. Come on, come on, hurry up! Move it! In you go. Oh, we've got a share. Get your beds made up quick if you want breakfast. But she's remand unconvicted. You're supposed to keep a separate rule book again. Write a letter to the Home Secretary. Ask him to build some more prisons. Um, I still haven't had my phone call. Me neither. You can have two minutes each after breakfast. I bet the old cow's kept his waiting so she can earwig. What, they can listen to your calls? Oh, yeah, they take them. And they read your bloody letters. Yeah, I've got business to keep up on money. I need to make arrangements. Well, they've still got to give a sunrise, whatever. Like you're entitled to have a visit within 48 hours of arrival and it's private. Really? That's fantastic, thank you. Unlucky for you, I've done this before. Yeah, come in. Jim. I wondered if you'd heard any more from Mary about the Atkins cock-up. Putting it bluntly, if they've caught up with the rest of us and realised Di's not up to the job. Nothing on that front as yet. They are getting shot of it, though, aren't they? Too early to say. Oh, come on. High-profile con like Atkins skips over the wall to a beach in Spain and Di's head won't roll. I haven't made any recommendations. As yet. I thought you'd be pushing to get rid for your own sake. Before she does any more damage. We just have to be patient. Well, there's no point beating about the bush. I want the job, you know that. And I think I deserve it. And I couldn't disagree. But like I say, all in good time. Understood. There you are, darling. Nah. Not hungry, June. I've just had me to moxifen. I'll be right in a bit. I thought taking it with food was meant to help. It helps some. Not me. There was two more coming. We've only got scrapings left. That's great. Tea? Yeah. Sorry. Jim, put one on your plate, hey? <laughs> Look, Jim, will you stop fussing? I'm fine. The best thing I did was not that chemo on the head. I've got everything under control. Well, I'm just trying to do my bit, that's all. I know. But I'm in remission. Right? Right. Here. Thanks. Bill Oswin. Good for you. If you've got something to say, say it. Otherwise, you're blocking my light. Okay. Tattoos? Far cry from the Royal Academy. So is my miserable bloody life. And tattoos pay for trips away. You are beginning to do a possible impression of a junkie. 
You keep up appearances, darling. As long as it makes you feel better. I need something a little stronger. And my feet. Give me a sec, yeah? Have you got any more left for sale? Tell the governor you want to place an order, will I? Soon as, yeah? Buxton, yeah? It says here, you're a nonce. What? Where did that come from? Oh, no, it's us who's asking the questions, and you better answer straight. True, is it? No. Are you mad? No. This is just some bastard screw winding you up. Don't hate nonces. Do it in. We bleed and hate them. Go freak yourselves. She's no nonce. All she's in for fiddling with is a bloody taxman. Now piss off and leave her alone. Come on. I suppose it's no proof. Principal Officer Jim Fenner, you uh, settling in all right, ladies? Yeah, fine, thanks. Anything you need? Don't be afraid to ask. You can't even be bothered being subtle, can you? Shove it up your ass. <laughs> Cracking hard nuts is what my job's all about, and I enjoy what I do. So unless you want to make me a very happy man, watch your mouth. I don't think I can take this. Oh, he's nothing. I've cracked bigger than him. I'm not talking about him. It's that screw Hollandby. I put money on it. I've only been here five minutes. Why has she got the knives out for me? Your face doesn't fit. Something to light up a dull shift. God knows how the minds work. You know, I've heard what happens to them. <laughs> Nonces. Yeah, well, it might be better if you stay here mealtimes, for now. Get your grub on a tray. <sighs> it's all lies. We'll soon get bored and move on to someone else. Don't let it get to you. Move it to work on that office. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I go and see about those phone calls, then you can get your visit sorted. Big kiss off your fella will soon cheer you up, eh? Francis. Thank you. Not got up close and personal for a bit, have we, Yates? You really should change your toothpaste. Can see why Atkins wanted out of here with a smell like that. Spain's probably not far enough. Yates work. She's been allocated garden duties. She give you any trouble? Just give us the nod, yeah? I told you to keep well clear. We've only got five hours to go. Don't worry. He's not cocking it up for us this time. Paul. Is everything okay? Yeah, just a bit awkward, that's all. Oh, for God's sake! The idea was that we made every day payday by flogging that stuff to the suckers, and right before my eyes, you've become one of the biggest mugs in here. Look, why don't you just get back to being top pooch or whatever it is you want to be and leave me alone, eh? Huh? You're pitiful, you know that? I think 